So yeah, we want to thank Jean-Paul for tipping us off about this like little location here in Gloria. This magical little piece of the universe. Look at this. Goose pasture. Weather. What was this a river? Clean waters do a flow. We do know. There's free camping. There's my spot. Free camping. So it seems to me if you got free camping and you're right next to the river like this. Oh my god. Spend a few days here, like two weeks at least. Free, absolutely free. It's just the most amazing place. Look at this. You'll have fires back there. And you've got this, but water. Crisp and clean and clear. To cool you off during these August holidays of the year temperatures. And, you, and even uh, you can catch some mullet for your dinner tonight. If you, if you dare to adventure that far, we've got a new method for catching mullet. So we're here on a Wednesday evening at this incredible place called Goose Pasture. And the Mosissa River running into the Orsilla River. They're both pretty darn nice rivers. See that? Big old fishies. Huge alligators right around the corner. So if you've got a permit for one, you can catch them here. Over 12 and a half foot skin and meat and high and all. is a boat and a permit. I'm not talking about a little boat like that. I'm talking about a bigger boat. You can haul that thing up in there into and then take it back to your vehicles you've got then to transport that um, rather large 500 pound animal to some location where they can process it and you have to pay for that too but all in all if you got that permit $270 and went after those alligators with a boat you might be making a little bit of money there there's one up to see about that in the meantime what about hunting alligators we're here to play some pearl on and uh, just enjoy them the atmosphere of goose pasture. I think this is Jefferson County. It's close to Perry. Here in the northwest of Florida. It's a little bit south and east of Tallahassee. Living at large. Loving it large. So, all money bet me on this is my free campsite. Check it out. My banks of the Wasissa River. The tents all laid out. The good ridge line. Look at that ridge line. So if it rains, I can pull that tarp over my tent and keep it dry. Doesn't look like it's going to rain tonight, though. This is the view. To the Wasissa River looking west. Not looking east. So this was what the the dusky scene looked like as goose pasture and about to freak oh, oh, light a fire here. Heat up some pizza and some wood. 
I must wash, wash at the Wasissa. And we're looking east over here, out of Goose Pasture. Kind of a rocky, bumpy road, but as long as you take the left fork as you come in from the west, from the east, I should say, then you'll be doing all right. You get to this place. It's about 10.30 a.m. on the 24th of August, the year 2023. This is my camp spot at Goose Pasture. What a pleasant place to be. And there's no generators running at night from that person over there. This is my little camp set up. That's the ridge line between these beautiful oak trees, then we could be camped right there too. Good spot. Now we percolated some coffee. The tent stayed pretty cool overnight. Cooled off as the night went on. It was rather warm last night. But yeah, that's a very meager setup. Coffee pot brewing. It takes a long time to brew percolated coffee on a fire like that. But um, three stones put together, and you feed just small pieces of wood in there. That's the minimal amount of fuel that you need to make a fire and cook. So let's see what happens today. It's Thursday. So happy Friday to everybody. It is Friday, the 25th of August 2023 at 1.24 in the afternoon. This is the view looking from a hilltop. Mostly limestone in nature, and that's what gives this water such a fresh, clean look. So we can see if we can see any mullet here. There's a blue baby mullet there. And there's one right there. A big mullet. Lovely fish. Can you see him? Can you see him? I was on a night trip on a boat with a what they call a gig, which basically is a three-pronged spear, or maybe four-pronged even. Five-pronged is right out. A three-pronged spear. And um, you get down on top of a mullet that's swimming, maybe resting in the water, paralyzed by the light you shine on at night. And if you're really fast and really accurate at that throw, you can definitely get some fresh mullet in this river and then take it home and uh, cook it that very evening. 
and eat that beautiful meat. So here's the sun dolphin with the stickers. Put the new stickers on. On the, on the, the bowel, there's the front. There's a deadhead sticker there. Piece of mine sticker there. And a grizzly sticker, grizzly power. That definitely applies to a lot of us. There's a good one right there. And then this one right here. Premium quality. Super discount. On the Royal Caribbean, I think that one And then you've got nature pure. Let's see what we've got from the other side, shall we? My Sun Dolphin Explorer. A happy surfer. The Nesby Delos sticker, and then they've got a Ruger rifle sticker too. That's a cool one there, the Ruger. So, that's so far the stickers on my beautiful Excursion 10 Sun Dolphin. I'm going to get in it now. Paddle over there. On the other side of that river, where a hammock has been installed already. I got to ride it last night after dark, a little bit sketchy that was. But we're going to go see what it looks like during the daylight hours. It's a wild and woolly weekend here. Probably going to be here till tomorrow and leave back for Tallahassee. wild terriers that come around here on Saturday afternoons in their ATVs. Apparently destroying property and raising raising hell. There's been two two uh, RVs that have been set alight by some raving idiots and they've burnt down at this very spot goose pasture which is not a pleasant thing to hear certainly not so shotgun, some shotgun warriors might be an army of shotguns might be necessary to protect the fort, <laughs> to protect this beautiful spot from ruffian locals that get drunk out of their skull or doing something and nitro filled Saturday nights and come around here terrorizing these poor campers that are trying to live out their waning years of life in a peaceful, merry way. Not bothering anybody, in fact, helping anybody out. It could be help. We've got Frank up there. Sounds like a gator grunt. gator in, in heat. But they give a very distinct kind of growling sound. Almost like a, a lion or a tiger. Mm -hmm. I can't get enough of this. In a beautiful late August afternoon. It did uh, chill down just a little bit last night. So. No rain whatsoever, so the skies have remained very nice today. Look at the face, two eyes, mouth, and nose. So this is an extended video. What, what we got going on? Beautiful Friday afternoon. One of the things we have to contend with sometimes 
is the biting flies and there are some rather mean vicious flies that are landing in. They're not normally flies, these are, these are extended long body. They don't care what they bite as long as they bite. And that could be well your leg. right over there to the left of Ronnie we had a good golf game yesterday I managed to beat him by the score of 17 to 15 because the game was up to 10 but we kept tying at 10 and, uh, and then 11 and then 12 and we had to win by two so a great match it was contest what happens in the contest today he'll be up for some good men This song is called Free Paddling. So I'm free, free paddling. So I'm free, free paddling. On the Wasis River. Friday afternoon and I'm going kind of nowhere and I left my home too soon because I'm free Free badly. The free, free badly. Third about the ship. Cause this is more than a party More than a party More than a party
So there's just a tiny wee little gate right there. Oh, it is submerged. So here we go, we're gonna head through this channel once again because we saw some very large mud. Ooh, boy, can you see that? Right there. Swimming down through this channel, so this would be a good place to get some mud. There's some smaller ones, I see. And there's a little wee gator down there somewhere too. It's only about three feet long, two feet long maybe. Look down in the depths and see if it's a big mud. Catch a big mud. Tintin -tin sounded the alarm back at the camp. where the river splits and it splits several times but we're going to go to the right of this split and go down these little chunky valley down here a river See and as you can see it gets nice and shady it's about 3 12 in the afternoon and this is uh, also where I did my multi-directional BEs I call them BE standing for breath exchanges multi-directional meaning movement in multi-directions have some fireflies come in and join me while I was lounging in the hammock. Oh, you can see the hammock almost now. Some little fishies, probably some turtles up here. I'm paddling with one hand now. Crash zone. Slow down. Okay, here you go. 
duck underneath these. See, there's the hammock right there. That's another big dragonfly. A magical spot here in Florida. Little sister river meets goose pasture. Well, I did my little exercise routine in last yesterday, and I'm going to do some today. Although it's a bit of a rest day for me today. Made up a new song, it's called 15,000 years ago. 15,000 years. 15,000 years ago. 15,000 years. 